All right, so I think I have some electromagnetic interference on my wiring. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and if you like the video, leave a thumbs up. Uh, I'm going to, you know, cut rid of, cut and splice uh, some of these extra long stepper motor wires, and I'm going to, you know, cover the uh, the buck converter uh, just in this aluminum tape. I mean, this is by no means uh, thorough or <laughs> best practices. So. Uh, this is just me trying to squeak by, get this thing up and running. Um, you know, uh, then we'll see. I might need to, I might need to get some shielded wiring for the stepper motors. And, um, I don't have a ground on this, so I'm gonna have to ground the whole thing somehow. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I'll get to work. So I think I'm just getting too much noise on the line even with this x-axis um, I think it's all probably in here I don't know uh oh what do I do stop it okay So I need to figure out how to shield those or add some resistors so that they don't falsely trigger from the noise. So I was getting a lot of electromagnetic magnetic interference from the stepper motors on the limit switches tripping up uh, the auto homing sequence. So it never actually completed a homing sequence. It did sort of when I pulled I think this stepper motor uh, cable away and I, I moved some of the cables away it actually got uh, a little bit more done uh, however you know I've uh, concluded that I need to uh, use shielded cables so I got some some great stepper motor shielding cable from let's see rubberfeet.us um, they have, they had a great deal on Amazon and then I also got some Strive Day 24 AWG 3 core shielded black cable for the limit switches. This for the stepper motors is 18.4 AWG shielded stranded wire. So this should address any issues that I have. The only other wire cabling that I haven't uh, that I'm probably not going to shield right away is the actual spindle cabling I'm going to try and get by with that and then uh, you know if uh, if I need to get shielded cabling for that then I will my I can only imagine that I needed to do the shielded cabling because of the wire management solution that I came up with um, because the original developer of the Multibot CNC uh, didn't have any problems with it. So, um, yeah, that's kind of where we stand. I'm gonna take apart the whole thing, get the wire measurements from the existing wires so that I can cut the new wires, and then I'm probably gonna splice on the connectors for the stepper motors because I don't think I have the connectors for that. Uh, I have the connectors for the limit switch is coming tomorrow or tonight so uh, yeah we'll get those on and uh, run shielded wire all the way back to the box now I'm gonna have to add a, a grounding block and then I'm probably going to take the grounded cable that this is originally just gonna go into the uh, spindle uh, power supply but I'm gonna run the ground cable through because there's no grounding hookup for the DC power adapter for the spindle uh, however I am going to run the ground through here through this cable bus into here so that I can hook all of the, all of the uh, all of the shielded cabling to that ok 
okay. So, because of all of the interference, the limit switches we're just getting, we're getting, I've decided to go and <laughs> get uh, shielded wires. So I got this for the snappers. I think I already did this, didn't I? And this for the limit switches. Okay, so I was I was worried that the new shielded wires wasn't we going to have enough room, but it turns out I'm going to have <clears throat> four limit switches and a stepper motor for the cable chain, as well as you know the spindle cabling, which right now is just a lamp power cord uh, which I might have to upgrade um, but we'll see hopefully this will work um, so here is two of the stepper motors then you know, then we have four uh, sorry not stepper motors four of the limit switches and then we have the stepper motor and uh, this is the cable chain so will fit and you know here's the right now the uh, spindle wire um, so you know I if, if I need to go up on the spindle wire I can um, but I think that'll fit comfortably I'm not sure if I'm gonna put it in the wrap or not I probably will At least the uh, stepper motor, I will. So now, off of my old bunch of wires, I can figure out what to cut for my new wires to run. 